I severely, severely dropped this camera the other day. It's so cold here in Montreal. I'm hoping that it's recording, it's doing something right. I am look like I'm crying because I, what the fuck is going on? Transmission malfunction stop. Okay, so this morning, I woke up, I had so many plans for the day, and then like a, a little snowstorm happened, like a lot of snow fell, oh, a little puppy, a lot of snow, a lot of snow fell really quickly, so all my plans kind of got disrupted for the day, but I still have to go into the office. I got so many Starbucks cards for Christmas because it was all I really wanted, like I go to Starbucks all the time. When I have gift cards, I feel like it's like spoiling myself and I hate spending money, my own money at Starbucks, which is why every Monday on the CNC Instagram, we put like a Starbucks card that we reload every Monday morning and you guys always sell it out so quickly. <laughs> I'm always so amazed at like the people that are like that close to Starbucks whenever we post it because it, it goes really quick and there's a good amount on it. So we do it every Monday. So if you want to sign up for like notifications, we don't spam you with content on CNC. I know how annoying that can be to follow an account and like it's taking over your entire life. But we do post every Monday a Starbucks card and then are in the morning around 9, 10 a.m. We also do the coffee of the week. Last week it was my coffee order, which I always get, which is a grande iced caramel latte made with oat milk and vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. CNC comes from our original name, which is Coffee and Couture, because we had originally planned to do like cute coffee mugs and jewelry, because like we love both those things. But then our love for jewelry just took over and eventually Coffee and Couture makes no sense, made no sense, so we switched, the, changed the name. So we're doing a Coffee and Couture segment, which I know like not that interesting, but I thought it was like cute just to see it come full circle so after I go to work and do that stuff I want to stop at the grocery store because my plan is to show you guys a few of the recipes easy super easy recipes I've been loving I'm gonna show you guys my favorite new bagel breakfast recipe homemade bagel breakfast recipe so I guess I'm not that lazy if I'm gonna make my homemade bagel although there there's only two ingredients in it everyone and their mother is making this feta pasta dish on TikTok and I was like that looks amazing I love feta I love pasta so I think I'm gonna make that and then I also bought all these weird ingredients to make like protein super healthy ice cream and I tried making it last night and it turned out so bad but I think I must have done something wrong because there's no way like it looked so good it looks so good wow I just literally just rolled out of bed so I'm very puffy I did my skincare um, but my sister is on her way to pick me up because we're going to Walmart because this egg chair she has been wanting forever which was out of stock everywhere it's finally in stock at the Walmart near me so she's picking me up I also have to do some groceries and a lot of you guys said that these juices that I got from dose are available at Walmart this one is called kick it is the lemonade it has lemon maple syrup and cayenne I order them online I don't drink them all in one sitting but I'll drink it all throughout the day that's what we're going to do you can buy essential non-essentials again in Montreal so I'm gonna take a peek around Walmart because I really haven't been to any stores not that I really need anything <sighs> okay so I'm back that was very short-lived Surprisingly, Walmart is very busy at 8 a.m. It's all, I guess, like the people who wake up at 6 a.m. that go. I was like still half asleep. But we didn't end up getting the egg chair. The box is gigantic, like so big. There was one on display and she ended up being like, oh, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. If it's still here in a few months, when it's actually summertime, she'll pick it up. So if you guys are in Canada and you want this egg chair, which was sold out, they have it at Walmart. It's unavailable online, but they check your local store because they have it in like the gardening section. I think the one near me had like three, but I wanted to show you guys the things I got from Walmart anyways. I did pick up a few food things, some cleaning things. I just love seeing what people buy at Walmart. I first picked up a few things for Leo. We have been watching all of the Marvel movies. I'm not a huge fan of superheroes at all. 
And if I'm being honest, I'm only watching them because Darren likes them. I get so bored of these Marvel movies. I, the only one I like is Iron Man, but and Wonder Woman. I really enjoy Wonder Woman, but because we're watching all like superhero movies, I got Leo a little superhero, and then I got him a few other treats. So I'll show you guys what I picked up. So the first thing I picked up is Leo's favorite treats. He loves those. I got him these two because he likes them, but he doesn't like them today. I swear, every day he likes different treats, and he also likes these turkey bacon slices. He's just like his mom. I picked these up because I used to really like these. I wanted to try air frying one. They're just so easy. I got some guacamole for an easy snack or to add to like my sandwiches or eggs and stuff. And then I got these for Darren because he loves them. It's like a little Valentine's Day treat. I saw these when I was like checking out. I really need a new beauty blender. I need to order my favorite ones from Amazon. I'll test these out and let you guys know. I don't know, it's always hit or miss with these affordable beauty blenders. I got two coffee creamers, and then this is the almond one. This is my absolute favorite. It is delish. And then I got another just regular almond milk to add to my smoothies. Because I love dessert so much, I got two of the Halo Top ice cream bars and mint chip and strawberry cheesecake. I'm someone who needs to have dessert, so I picked that up. I picked up some more garbage bags. That's not too interesting. I love this Angie's um, kettle corn, and they had light kettle corn, so I picked that up. And then I also got this vegan... Um, cheese which one of my friends Nikki said was her favorite and I got these cauliflower crust because I saw Bethany Frankel make it on her Instagram stories she toasted it first and then put her ingredients on top so I think I might have that for lunch I got some more cleaning products just some Windex I got this dish soap just because it's peppermint and then this is my favorite favorite dish soap this can also be used a lot of different ways you don't just have to use it for dish soap I like getting these for the bases. They have sesame bits and cashews, and then I'll do like half of the dressing. I also got a Caesar kit and just some spring mix. And then I got some stuff for the dishwasher. I got a razor for Darren, but it's upstairs. I already gave it to him. And then I got this razor. This I love for my legs. I'll do an update on my at-home laser hair removal because I actually never really need to shave anymore. But whenever I do, I like having one of these because it makes you so smooth. And then I got Leo some more toothpaste. Okay, so then I got these slippers. You guys know I showed these in my Bougie on a Budget, this video right here. They are the best Ugg dupes ever. I wear my other ones all the time. If you remember, I got the black ones, but I got them in a size too big. So I got my right size. They were originally $25. They're on sale for $11. So $11 for perfect Ugg dupes. Then we went to Michael's because we ran out of tissue paper for the CNC orders and we're releasing a collection today so we had to go get more tissue paper. And I saw this slimy sand. I think I saw Britney Spears show this on her Instagram, which by the way, I watched that documentary. It was so sad. Well, I watched half of it and then YouTube took it down. So I have to find another place to watch it. I know it's on Hulu, but we don't get Hulu in Canada. And then I got two new pens. I'm obsessed with pens. We also got some other stuff for work. So right now I just made one of these little quiches. I put it in the my little air fryer. But the plan for today is to get the new collection up for CNC. We're releasing new Jador bracelets, new watch bracelets. Okay, I need to try to make room in this freezer. Oh, I also got Darren these. He eats like a, a toddler. So that's no okay to him. He is well aware that he eats like a toddler. But this freezer is really packed tight, especially with all my revive stuff. So I really don't know where I'm gonna put all of these. I think the thing I'm most excited about when I move is to have an extra freezer in the garage so I don't have to have everything jammed into this freezer because I love having a ton of frozen vegetables to add to like stir fries and stuff but this freezer is so tiny. Okay, so I'm going to continue putting everything away. My fridge is actually pretty clean so it's going to be easy. Then I'm going to eat because I'm starving. I'll show you guys when it's all done. Not very exciting, but I love this combination. I think in the future, I'm gonna try to make my own quiches and just keep them in the fridge for a few days because obviously this has like a ton of stuff in it. That's probably not good for you. But for a fast and easy breakfast that took like five minutes to make and no mess, 
this is delish okay so i can't show you guys me actually taking the pictures because i need the sd card i don't know where my second or extra one went but i need to take all of the pictures <laughs> so many pictures for the product shots so i have all of these new shador bracelets we also have a nude one i get everything on amazon <laughs> i get everything in my life on amazon and i just use the camera i use to film take the pictures and then i upload them it is 10 38 now i have my big coffee i'm hoping to get every picture taken by two or three that might be wishful thinking hey guys so i am should i plug this in i'm using my little portable ring light so the light might be better but who knows does that even work does that make anything better? I'm sitting in front of a window, so light's already pretty good. I'm getting ready to do a Zoom interview with a magazine who is interviewing my sister and I for CNC, which is so cool. I don't know, I put myself out there on YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff, but I'm actually a very shy person. So going on like Instagram lives and talking with like people, like that's why I don't do it any like i've been asked to do podcasts before and i don't know why they just kind of like i'm a very introverted person and honestly i just don't <laughs> it sounds bad to say and this is actually something i've been dealing with recently but i just like feel like no one cares about what i have to say but i'm making it a point to say yes to things more so a magazine actually two magazines reached out to us to do a piece on cnc which i thought was really cool well, i'll let you guys know when they're coming out or i'll post about them when they come out but we're doing like a little zoom meeting zoom call uh at one i think it's at one i'm getting ready for that and i thought i would just come on and talk with you guys just to chit chat um and kind of update you guys because yesterday i had like a little mental breakdown and i feel like I am very good at showing you guys the best parts of my day, the fashion, the clothes, and everything like that. I'm very good at making my life seem very good. And you have to remember with anyone on social media, that's what they're doing, unless, you know, they're showing more. But if they're only showing when they're happy and the best parts, you have to remember that. And i recently have not been taking my own advice and i've been comparing myself a lot to people on social media and it is so damaging to your mental health like it's so so damaging yesterday i kind of just had like a little mental breakdown i don't know why i've been dealing with like really bad anxiety recently i've never had anxiety ever really and it's just been really bad recently so i don't really know why it's happening it's not like crazy anxiety it's just like it's not fun it's never fun to deal with anxiety so i asked you guys on instagram what your favorite tips on dealing like what do you do to deal with anxiety and a lot of you guys sent me amazing amazing tips that i actually did so a lot of you guys said to like focus on breathing and meditate so this morning i did a 10 minute guided meditation for anxiety and that actually really did help like i just did like one i found on youtube a lot of you guys said to do cbd a lot of you guys said to smoke weed which i would if i could but i can't i just don't react well to it a lot of you guys said to distract yourself with a hobby one of you said that you started embroidering which i thought was very cool or coloring like adult coloring books i know my sister really likes that my sister has struggled with anxiety and depression for a very long time so she really likes that cut out caffeine which i didn't have caffeine this morning but i think i need to slowly cut that out because i'm a big caffeine drinker taking a bath and pampering yourself watching a funny tv or movie tv show or movie and putting your phone down and focus on being present so oh so i kind of did those things and i am feeling better today so i'm going to continue doing that i feel like this quarantine really hitting me harder this time and because it's winter like winter is in general like a more like a sadder time i feel like i've seen a few people talk about this on their instagram and i just don't ever want to make it seem like my life is all hunky-dory and beautiful and you know sunshine and rainbows because it's 
not always and no one on Instagram has a perfect life and I think watching these people on YouTube who at least for me don't show any of the hard times which no one has to like it's it's your right to keep it private is a little bit difficult and really affects my mental health I just wanted to be open about that and tell you guys what's going on so i have re-fallen in love i kind of always know that this is like a favorite of mine but with the maybelline fit me foundation and hydrate and smooth i also have the matte one right here i use the shade 125 in both i like mixing them sometimes but when my skin is drier i tend to pick the hydra hydrate and smooth one i don't know why there's tape around them but i love 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 that foundation it's so good i swear i get the most compliments when i wear this foundation over all of my luxury foundations i remember like when i was in college i whenever i wore this foundation i would get stopped by other girls all the time only when i was wearing that foundation i've kind of started wearing less concealer i feel like just less is more but my favorite um of all time is the born this way so i use that today in almond and it was amazing i'm kind of trying to do like lighter makeup even though it doesn't really look it doesn't really look that much lighter but i have a lot less on i'm still playing with my auric which is sam ravendahl's makeup line i like this product it reminds me a lot of my absolute favorite product from shella tilbury i'm going to do a whole get ready with me to show you guys like my updated makeup routine but it's been a learning curve i don't know especially the eyeshadows like she released these little things that were inspired by like the tom ford and for me, I love like a really sparkly eyeshadow. Like one of my favorites, if you can ever get your hand on it, is called Sun Flare from Bobbi Brown. It is so pretty. And I also really love the Kaja eyeshadows. Like they are just so sparkly and so pretty. And today on my eyes, I have the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow in... It's the Luxury Palette, Flawless Filter Luxury Palette in Star Aura. I have this one on my eyes. I don't know if you can see and it's so pretty I was really excited for these eyeshadows but I don't know I think either I got one that was just like a little defective I have to press really hard to get anything off I'm gonna keep playing around so I'm gonna go continue getting ready and I need to charge my camera because I have three batteries here and surprise surprise they're all dead no like what people need and want and like what they're really looking for. Our whole goal with our CNC was to make luxury affordable because there's huge markups, especially on jewelry and silk. People should be able to feel luxurious and have these luxuries even if they can't afford a $70 face mask, you know what I mean? So, yeah, well her channel really took off when she started her Bougie on a Budget series and Love that. yeah <laughs> and so the luxury but affordable kind of just really fit into the brand and what we wanted to do from the very beginning now we really just want to focus on like improving our customers experience and to really give the luxury feel without spending you know hundreds and hundreds on just a couple of pieces yeah the brand grown over the last few years okay guys we just did the zoom interview and my sister solved okay, what did you solve the elisa lamb case she solved it I, she I'm solved not it. sure but I actually I'm gonna email them because look she comes in and she's pressing all the elevator buttons and lighting up all the lights and then she stands she stands but she just she walked into the elevator so there's no if there was someone outside see look you're gonna watch her flick her head back and forth soon Where look she oh. looks wow. if there was someone there she would have seen them and the person would have seen her walk into the elevator so why is she hiding so i asked mike my boyfriend who's an elevator mechanic and i was like what would cause the doors to stay open that way because most of the time the elevators elevator doors close right the buttons are all pressed she pressed the entire middle row and did they talk about that in the documentary? Kinda, but I don't know if they know what I know. So the doors are staying open, all right? They don't know what you know. You don't think this whole, <laughs> you don't think they've consulted an elevator? I yeah. don't. The average person would not know that you can be on top of the elevator. I know, but I, I'm sure the detectives have consulted an elevator. I don't know, that's, what, that's why I'm gonna email. So I asked Mike, I said, why? Why are you emailing? I'm gonna email the LAPD. It's unsolved. She's pressing all these buttons and the elevator door is not closing. It's been open this entire time. We're going on two minutes. Look at her, she's out, she's looking, she's scared. On the roof, 
there's the um, water tank where she was found, rest in peace. And there was- <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so um, we've made it to the car. We, I'm wearing my Amazon sunglasses that I just got because I'm doing an Amazon video, like an Amazon fashion video. I had these in the past and I really love them because they're like a really good dupe for Ray-Bans. You can kind of feel like the quality is not exactly like Ray-Bans, but I think they were like $10. So can you really complain, you know? I want to drive by Marshall's because I, I live really close to it, so I want to drive by it. My car almost didn't start today, I guess because it's very cold. I was like, that's never happened, but I had to try like four times to get it to start, and that never happened, so I was a little scared. I'm getting kind of hungry too, but I didn't really want to buy food because I spent so much at the grocery store recently that it's like such a waste if there's a line i don't understand like i guess people are just really early risers but i i've never been the type of person to go to a store right when it opens i also was going through my bag i brought out my boy bag because i haven't worn it in a really long time and i've been wearing it recently and i found a gift card for winners which is like Marshalls. So I was like, if that's not a sign, I don't know what is. It's so sad. So many stores in this little strip mall near where I live closed. We're on a mission. I'm first gonna look for the sweatpants and then I will look for home stuff, you guys. How exciting. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to find close parking. We're gonna park right here. Literally the farthest way possible. I might want to get one of these to put my, on my desk. Whew. Okay, so there was no sweatpants anywhere to be found, which I kind of expected, but I'm so sad. I did pick up some other stuff, so I'll quickly tell you guys what I got. The first thing I got is this. This is um, truffle pasta. I don't know, I guess I'll make a nice truffle pasta for dinner tonight <laughs> or one day this week. I just thought it was cool and it wasn't expensive or anything. So pick that up. It looked like good homemade pasta. So, and there's a lot of it. Then I picked up these little silicone spatula and um, spatula and slotted turner, apparently. I have like a big spatula, but when you just wanna flip something easy, I don't have anything like that. I got another truffle oil because I ran out. Okay, so this is what I'm super excited about. I did a whole video a long time ago testing out this primer and I loved it. And then I ran out and they had it for 24 bucks. And I remember loving it for dry skin and I remember making my foundation look really nice. So I got that so there's a man passing by. And then lastly, I got this, which is sugar-free caramel syrup to add to my creamer because I love a good caramel um, latte. Now I think I'm gonna head to Starbucks. I really hope the line isn't too long because I just wanna grab a quick drink and then head home. Shopping at Winners I find is like kind of exhausting because <laughs> you have to like hunt, hunt down your finds, but I'm happy with everything I got. I used to go to Winners like all the time, all the time, like at least once a week I was at Winners. I think it's because I don't have any room for any more like house decorations or anything and I'm really only a fan of Winner's Home Sense, like your home goods in the States. I was gonna get a little makeup organizer but they always get so dirty and I don't really need it so I just decided to put it back and buy truffle pasta instead because that is a necessity. 
Um, I don't like the rules. Oh, it feels nice to be out of the house, you guys. I haven't been out of the house in probably four days and it really affects my mental health. Let me tell you, I didn't even leave to go to work because I've been filming and editing and working from home and you know, I ha just haven't left the house. Besides to go to Walmart, I do go to Walmart, but I haven't left for more than like half an hour in a really long time. I think I need to start doing that. I need to start <laughs> leaving my house. It's so, it's so hard. It's so hard, especially when it's negative 10 degrees outside. Like where are you supposed to go? I can't just go to a park. I have to put on my whole snowsuit to go to the park. Why is there police? Okay, I'm gonna run in and try it because I really want to try it. And I need some sort of caffeine because I'm getting a headache, so I'll be back. Okay, we got the drink. I'm actually really happy I went inside because it was super fast. There was nobody inside. Okay, so I'm mixing it up. I got a venti with three pumps to try. I think the regular drink is a grande with two pumps, so I added an extra pump. Okay, I'm scared. What does this smell like? Okay, nothing. Whoa. That is so good. You have to like try. Oh my god, I need to tell my friend Michelle because he loves chai and he loves matcha. I need to go tell everyone. It tastes like slightly like chai with like the creaminess and like good parts of matcha. You know how sometimes matcha can taste like grass? When Starbucks makes your drink well, you know it's gonna be a good day. They must have been like, it's Valentine's Day. Don't so mind my little mess. I'm just about to pay some bills. But I wanted to talk about this. So I went to Winners for the first time. What you guys saw? You guys saw me buy this. I don't know why I'm talking like you've never seen it. I love it. I posted on my story and one of you guys told me about this website. I'll leave a link down below where they sell all of, not this brand, but I think the brand is Torini or something like that. All their sugar-free syrups. I placed a big order because I'm trying to cut out Starbucks. Basically, I like instant coffee. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just super easy and I don't find there's any taste difference from my Keurig. I do have a Keurig, but I don't know, I just like this kind of coffee. My sister had an espresso and I just don't like it. I like regular coffee. This is a good brand um, and it's just so easy. I prefer milder coffee flavors. So then I'll put this, I don't really know how much, just like until I think it's the right amount. And then I add my favorite creamer. This and the almond one taste exactly the same. I need to put a little bit more ice, but it is so good. That is like the best coffee ever. Oh, oh, oh no. Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I am coming at you a few days later because I got sidetracked. <laughs> for a week. I said I was going to be doing a bunch of TikTok recipes um, with you guys and I actually um, ended up doing one of them without filming it. I completely forgot. I'm literally the worst YouTuber ever. It was the feta pasta dish. So I will leave the recipe link down below. Overall, like it was super good. This is how it looked before it baked. This is how it looked after. It was so simple and so easy. The only thing is that it was very heavy and very salty. I'm trying not to eat as much pasta because pasta always makes my stomach really hurt. It's just like very heavy. So I'm trying not to eat as much pasta, but overall it was very good. I would recommend it, especially if you love feta, but you can do any cheese. I feel like you can do a good mozzarella, you can do a goat cheese, you can do anything. So I already did that, but we tried the TikTok drink, which was super good. And now I want to make those little bagel things because I want to have them um, for the next few days. And if there's any recipes you want me to test out, let me know. These bagels are super easy. They like, I always pretty much have everything I need to make it. And I love them. I love them more than regular bagels. I am using the Weight Watchers recipe for bagels and making them into like little delicious bagel bites. So you're gonna only need like four ingredients for this. It's super easy, but you're gonna need flour. I'm using all purpose brown because it's what I have. I've used regular all purpose. Um, you can use bread flour. If you use bread flour, I don't think you need to add 
the baking powder, but because I don't, I have to add it. You're going to need Greek yogurt, whatever you want inside. If you just wanna make regular bagels, you don't even need the cream cheese. You can just form them into bagels. Then you're gonna need some salt. That is literally all you need. It is so simple. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is take your whatever you're putting on the inside. I'm using light Philadelphia cream cheese, and you just wanna cut it up into your little chunks basically and you want to put it in the freezer for a few minutes just so they get that it gets a little bit frozen because if it's frozen this is the cream cheese if it's frozen you will be able to bake them and the cream cheese won't just like instantly melt and go everywhere can you even see what i'm doing i'm just cutting them leo keeps coming back for more treats anyways you guys know the consistency of cream cheese you want it to be like more firm so i'm going to pop this in to the freezer and let it cool or chill or freeze Oh, I forgot to tell you, we're gonna be making all dress bagels or everything bagels. I call them all dress bagels, but no one ever knows what I'm talking about. So it's like just everything but the bagel seasoning on it. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to do like a cinnamon one with like a cream cheese filling. So good. This dough is so easy. I swear to God, it's like the easiest thing you'll ever come across. You're gonna take one cup of all purpose flour or whatever flour you want. Then you're gonna take your Greek yogurt. I know you're not supposed to put like wet ingredients in this, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because I don't want to dirty another measuring cup. So about a cup of Greek yogurt. I'm using non-fat, but you can use 2%, whatever you want. I do actually like a little bit more than a cup because I find the dough is never sticky enough, like never wet enough. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of baking powder. And then I'm gonna do like a few cracks of salt. And this is what it looks like, and I'm just gonna mix it all up. Okay, grab your cream cheese or whatever you're putting inside. It should be like frozen or firm. You're gonna grab a chunk of your dough, and you're gonna stick your chunk of cream cheese inside and just roll it up. That is literally how easy it is and you want to make sure that there's no like holes where your cream cheese can spill out of and of course try to make them all the same size so that they bake evenly okay so now i'm going to show you guys how to make the cinnamon ones because they're actually really really delicious all you're going to need is cinnamon and then your sweetener of choice i'm using monk fruit monk fruit sweetener so you're going to add a little cinnamon or a lot of cinnamon to your dough and you're gonna add some monk fruit sweetener to your dough. You don't need to add too much, but just a little bit to make the dough like nice and sweet. And then for our cream cheese filling, I think I'm gonna use like a little measuring cup. I'm just gonna add the remaining cream cheese and we're gonna make like an ice icing spread. We're just gonna add a little bit of our sweetener then I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit of vanilla. Okay, and you're just going to mix this all together. Because it was frozen a little bit, it might be a little bit harder. I love cream cheese icing. Like, ever since I was a kid, cream cheese icing was my favorite. Ideally, you should freeze this also, but I don't feel like it. I also forgot to say to preheat your oven to 375. So you're gonna do the exact same thing for your cinnamon dough balls. Just gonna spoon some of that icing in there and close it up. Next you're gonna do an egg wash. So, we'll do that. Okay, there's some red stuff inside this egg. So we're gonna get a different egg. Let's try that again. Perfect egg, perfect egg. I don't know where my sesame seeds are, so I'm just gonna do all of them in everything but the bagel seasoning. This one I just got at Provigo. If you are in Canada or Loblaws, you can pretty much find it anywhere now. It was not in Canada for a while. And I like a lot of seasoning. Okay, and then for the cinnamon ones, you're going to sprinkle on a little cinnamon. 
And then you're going to sprinkle on a little of your sweetener. This is what they look like. They actually look very delicious. Delish. So we're gonna pop them in the oven. 20 to 25 minutes. We'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, so in the meantime, while that cooks, I will have to clean that mess up. Just not yet. I thought I would show you guys the jeans that I got in from Abercrombie. Abercrombie. So if you guys didn't see this haul, I did a haul from Abercrombie. I was totally impressed with them. It's specifically this pair of jeans, the 90s denim. They were like everything I've ever wanted in a pair of jeans. They were a perfect dupe. Not a perfect dupe because they were even better than the Igoldi um, 90s denim jeans. Now, I got a DM from someone saying that the jeans didn't fit them well um, and that they were super tight on your hips and super loose on your waist. I typically have that problem too not because I have like the biggest butt but because I do have like wider hips but these fit me really well so just because they work for me doesn't guarantee that they'll work for you but if your body is like similar to mine you're going to love these Leo I know you want to just be held but can I put you behind me on the chair I also ordered um, I think some other stuff so it'll be fun it's like a little mini Abercrombie haul that they have really stepped up their game so the first thing I got is this oversized gray sweater like super oversized i like sweaters that have super chunky arms like thick arms and i love matching gray sets because gray i feel is really a color that you can't mix grays like it kind of looks weird if you have like two grays together but when ever there's a gray set i snatch it up because you want to have both Ooh, these feel like they're gonna be so comfy so these are the matching sweatpants in gray. Um, I get asked a lot about duties. I never have to pay duties ever with Abercrombie. Oh, you know what? I think I ordered, I placed two orders from Abercrombie, so I don't even know if the jeans arrived. I forgot. I had placed one order and then I placed another order. Tell me you have a shopping problem without telling me you have a shopping problem. It matches the sweater, but shorts. This is gonna be perfect for the springtime. I feel like I should save this for a haul. Oh no. Okay, no, these are all the jeans. I feel, okay. So I feel like I should save my whole haul for a haul video. I'm a little bit embarrassed, but there's a lot and I, um, want to try on everything for you guys. I will show you guys the different color of the, the different colors of the jeans now But I got like so much more stuff because I just gave away like half of my wardrobe That's me trying to justify me buying more clothes So I'm going to do I'm gonna do a whole haul and try on everything like the sweatpants and everything but I will because I told you guys I would show you the different colors of the the pants in that haul I ordered a 25 and I Said they were too tight around my waist and they didn't really stretch that much so i ordered a 26. i always go between 25 and 26 so it's like all whenever you order online it's like you never know i never know so these are the same jeans but with no rips and i do get the shorts version so these are still pretty pricey they're Does anyone else's oven make that song when it's ready? Um, okay, so these they're still not cheap. They're still like a, over $100 Canadian, $110. But these in particular are so worth it, beyond worth it. I've spent three times this amount on a pair of jeans. I'm not proud of it. And I don't like them half as much. They're amazing. So I got this pair, just black. Just black. And then I love blue denim for the springtime. I just, I love it. I, I love blue denim for the springtime. So then I got this color, which is like a darker wash, but like with rips. I, I haven't really been into like darker wash denim in a long time. There's not that this is darker wash, but it's darker than what I normally wear. But I am very into this because it's like a pretty kind of acid wash, still very cool girl pair of jeans. You'll be able to see them better when I do the haul. I promise I won't make you wait. I will film this haul tomorrow. Like, I'm not gonna make you wait six years for this haul. Then I ordered this pair, and yes, I did order 
a lot of jeans because I did gain probably like 10 pounds since summer ended and instead of trying to squish myself into the jeans which hopefully one day I will fit back into and working on it I want to get jeans that make me feel good and fit me so right now only one pair of jeans fit me so I wanted to buy some new jeans in that that I know actually fit and I'm not you know bulging out of so then I got this really nice ooh this is like my perfect wash of denim there's no rips in it I feel like you have to always have a pair of jeans with rips in it for like very casual looks and then you also have to have a pair of jeans um, with no rips in it to kind of dress up you can make fancier throw on a blazer throw on a pair of heels so these are the perfect pair of light wash denim with a little bit of distressing so you can see the distressing around the pockets here like on the back pockets there's still like some light distressing but there's no like holes in them when i showed you them in the hall i was wearing high heels with them but they look super cute like over sneakers or um rolled i'll show you that in the in the hall i promise okay and then i got this last pair i'm not kidding they feel identical to the super expensive jeans Okay, so these are super cool. They have like a big rip in them, which is just something different that was very in in the summer. I'm gonna be so happy to have these and hopefully like things start opening back up. Fingers crossed, but who really knows? I have a lot to film tomorrow. I'm actually very excited. For a while, I was like going through a little bit of a rut. If I'm being honest, I'm getting tired of just the hauls, like the hauls after hauls after hauls. I have bagel thing in my hair. I always enjoy getting new clothes, obviously. It's like my favorite thing ever, but it gets very repetitive just filming the same things over and over. And I know some people I get DMs being like, can you film something else? But the thing is, it's like I film things that people ask me like personally in my DMs to see. And if enough people ask me for it, I always get asked for new Zara hauls. And I feel like you guys are gonna be like, enough with the Zara hauls. So I'm trying to think of different ways. So I'm doing a video where my sister and close friends shop on the Zara website for me and I'm gonna see if they know my style. That'll be interesting. I have this Abercrombie haul I'm so excited about. I have a bunch of fun videos coming. I have an Amazon favorites video, like testing fashion. I want to start doing more like different kinds of videos. The only thing is that you guys ask me for the hauls and then they also do the best on my channel. So. Whenever I do something off and fun, they don't work as well. So if you have any ideas, video ideas, let me know down below. And if you are scrolling through comments and you're like, oh yeah, I like that idea, just like like that comment so I know that um, you like it. I've been really into the documentary about the Cecil Hotel. My sister. Every day she calls me and she has a different theory about that hotel. It was also Valentine's Day. Where are you going? There they are. They don't look quite done yet. I also cleaned my oven. It turned out that under all that black was this purple color. That was nice, that was fun. While I wait for that to be done, I'm going to start editing and then hopefully get this video done. Right? Okay, so they're done, I think. I could be very wrong. I don't think they're done inside. I popped them back in the oven because I don't think they're done, but this is what they look like inside. Don't mind my tan on my hands, they're very bad. Mm. They are still very good though. Okay, so I broiled them, I cooked them a little bit longer and we have a cinnamon sugar one. <gasps> okay, so the it smells so good you guys. You have, it smells like Panera. You know when they have those cinnamon bagels? Okay, I'm so excited for this. It's so hot. It smells so good. Mmm, that's really my, my favorite. That is just so good. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there's other TikTok recipes that you've tried that you love and you think I should make. If I mentioned anything in this video, well, the jeans and everything, it will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you back here next time. Mm.